we really really appreciate your feedbacks and queries on our previous video so we try to get back to each of your queries and comments as much as possible and as early as possible this is one of the recent comment we got from one of our subscriber Feroz who asked us how to calculate the square root of a decimal number as per our promise to get back to you till the next Saturday so here we are with this trick hope you enjoy it hey friends I'm Sunish from Team Must and in this video I'm gonna discuss a trick to find square root of a decimal number um, specifically a decimal number before getting into this trick I would really suggest you to go through my previous video in which I discussed how to find the square root of a non-decimal number as um, the trick is almost same uh, with few variations so if you would watch that vi um, video prior to this one it would be really helpful to you and it would be quite easy to get into this trick uh, so here we start with this trick so let's take example suppose I have to find square root of a number decimal number say let's say 1.44 so now start dividing the number into pairs this is a step one now the difference from the previous video is you have to keep in mind the decimal here this decimal and now how you have to start dividing them into pairs you have to see they should be different pairs for the numbers now what I mean is for the numbers which are to the right of decimal and which are to the left of decimal there should be different pairs for them and now for the numbers which are to the right of decimal you start dividing into pairs starting from left to right moving towards left to right from left to right so I would go this way this way from for the numbers which are to the right of decimal now for the numbers which are to the left of decimal I start from left to right so in this case there is only one number so this is one pair now guess any number whose square is less than or equal to the first pair number so in this case if I guess the number one one square is one and it is less than the first pair number which is one so I'll write the number one and one square is one so I'll put one here also now subtract this number gives me zero now double the previous guessed out number so this was the previous guessed out number so 2 cross 1 would give me 2 after we double this number now bring the second pair down so I'll bring this pair down now keep in mind that this pair was to the right of this was the first one to be the right of the decimal so I'll put decimal here as well now guess any number x guess any number x which when multiplied with the number 2x gives me the answer less than or equal to 44 so if I guess x to be 2 so if I guess x to be 2 that makes 22 so 22 cross 2 would give me 44 yeah so this is perfect now subtracting would give me remainder to be 0 now when I got the remainder to be 0 before that let me place 2 here in, in place of x so the perfect square of perfect square root of the number 1.44 is 1.2 so this is the answer it would make uh, to be more clear when I discuss uh, with one more example so let's take one more example number is 189.884 and we have to find the square root of this number so our first step was to divide the number into pairs now keeping in mind the digits which are to the right of decimal and the digits which are to the left of decimal for the digits which are to the right of decimal we have to divide into pairs moving from left to right so 88 makes one pair 84 makes another one now for the digits which are to the left of decimal that is 189 we start forming the pairs moving from right to left that is 89 makes one pair one the left out the other one now following our further steps 
gets any number whose square is less than or equal to the first pair number in this case the first pair is 1 so I'll guess the number 1 whose square is 1 1 square is 1 and it's less than or equal to the number first pair number so I'll take the number 1 its square is 1 so I'll put it 1 here now subtracting it would give me 0 now the second step was to double the previous guessed out number previous guessed out number was 1 so after we double uh, this number 1 1 cross 2 would give me 2 so this is the number now bring the second pair down so bringing the second pair down that is 89 would give me like this 89 now guess any number x x which when multiplied with the number 2x 2x gives me the answer less than or equal to 89 so if I guess the number x to be 4 so that would make 24 and 4 cross 4 would give me 96 uh, which is greater than 89 so I'll guess the number x to be 3 so 23 cross 3 would give me 69 which is less than the number 89 so I'll take x to be 3 and I'll write down here replacing the x to be 3 here so our guessed out number now is 3 now I'll subtract this thing I will get 0 20 now next step was to double the previous guessed out number previous guessed out number was 3 was 3 so I'll 3 cross 2 would give me 6 and yes bring the previous to the previous number as it is that's 2 as it is now bring the second pair down now in this case it's the third pair though uh, next pair down that is that is 88 now we see that it's the number to the left of decimal so what we'll do is we'll just put decimal here as well after 13 I'll put, I'm putting here decimal now guess the number x again repeating the similar steps guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 26x gives me the answer less than or equal to 2088 if I guess x to be 8 that is it forms 268 268 cross 8 that would give me 442144 four, which is greater than the number 2048 so I will discard 8 and try using 7 now when I take x to be 7 so that will give me 277 cross 7 which gives me 961869 so that is less than or equal to 2088 so I'll take x to be 7 here so I'll just replace x with 7 on both sides so here 7 and now I'll write 1 under this 2088 and just subtract it which gives me 9219 I'll shift this upwards it's 219 ok now see now our previous guessed out number was 7 so repeating the steps again double the previous guessed out number so in this case the previous guessed out number was 7 7 so 7 cross 2 would give me 14 so I'll write down 4 here uh, and 1 is carried to the previous number we don't change the previous numbers but we bring them as it is downwards so 1 is carried so 1 here carried would give me 7 here and 2 as it is 1 plus 6 is 7 that's why I written 7 here so 2 as it is 274 is the new number now again the next step was guess any number x wait a minute sorry for that x which when multiplied with the number 274x would give me the answer less than or equal to the number for that I have I had to bring the last pair down that is 84 so I'll bring this down and now after saying this guess the number x which when multiplied with the number 274x would give me answer less than or equal to 21984 so as I see that it ends with the digit 4 so I'll try to guess the x to be 8 because 8 
uh, 8 square is 64 so that again ends with 4 so maybe that can match so let's let me try this so 2 7 4 8 cross 8 would give me 4 8 9 1 yes I got this number so I'll put this as it is here 2 1 9 8 4 now again seeing that subtracting gives me remainder 0 which clearly proves that this is perfect square now wait a minute let me replace x with 8 here 8 and above as well so this x would be 8 so which gives me the answer to be 13.78 that simply means 13.78 is perfect square of the number perfect square root of the number 189.8884 so this was it I hope you now got the trick how to find the square root of a decimal number now as you are done with this trick you are ready to go for the next trick which and which I explained how to find the square root of non perfect square these were the example where I was taking the uh, digits to be perfect squares so you are ready to go for that trick even so I am attaching I am just mentioning the link in the description below you can see the annotation as well so I am looking forward also I am looking forward for your queries uh, hopefully I would answer them back so this was it for this video do subscribe to our channel teamers as a lot more videos coming on till then be must and keep rocking